Hey everybody, and welcome back to Starfleet Birth of the Federation. Go Federation! We're doing pretty kick-ass. Because I'm in charge. Ha ah, ha, whatever. Super space plays. See, we're doing good. For all this blue area. The Fringy are down... Well, I was going to say the Fringy are down to two planets, but that's bragging about something that's been there, like, forever. It's like when YouTube changes something, and they're like... Well, it's actually when they don't change things. When they come out with any new design, like the homepage, they'll be like, now you can feature whatever video you want on your channel. And you're like, I could do that for the last year. You can't say it's new when it's not new. But they do, so... I don't even remember what my point was. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> I'm just messing in my pants. So, um... Man, I can't believe the furnace is on. It's late April and the furnace is on. So we're just going to move some more stuff up towards Shelia. Let's make sure our systems are more or less okay. Nobody's making trade goods. Nobody's defiant that doesn't have martial law. Alright, that's cool. I think I can probably cut down that Romulus. Turn! Okay. I guess I shouldn't have... Oh, great. I shouldn't have been like, yeah, fuck you, Husnock Raider. So, oh. Select group, group Aye, assault. Sir. Target established. In Phasers locked on target. We are Listen probably going to lose some ships here. From target? No, I want chase. There we go. It wasn't as bad as fighting the Borg. We lost some stuff I did not want to lose, but the battle is over. suck it, Husnock. We won. Oh, I forgot we're just bombarding that place up there. Intelligence services. I need to quit bombarding that because it's making our people unhappy. <laughs> All right, one more turn and this stuff will be up there. Oh, uh, we didn't lose too much, at least. Cardassian Union has an overall strength of economics of 1688. We're well ahead of them. Where are our friends, the Tamarans? There you go, here's some more money. Alright, another heavy destroyer. Actually, we're gonna put him there. And him there. Who the fuck is that? There's another Husnock vessel? Aw, oh, shit. Great. Absolutely fucking great. Get the troop transport up to the front. Man, I gotta keep making martial law for all these butt monkeys. One more turn, though, I think, and uh, hopefully we'll have the Sheliac out. Whoa, where the hell are they? Yes, sir. I don't know if this will work. We're gonna Torpedoes locked. have our little destroyer two take on an outpost two. Our heavy destroyer. Shields are holding. Okay, this might not have been a good idea. Oh, wait, we can do it. Yeah! The ship is badass! Suck it. You shouldn't have built your space over. station out of paper mache. Run. Run like a bitch. Slowly get the away from us. In retreat. They've gone to warp. Stand down from battle stations. Report received from intelligence services. Yay! People like the victories. See, they're not building anything on Beta Z. Uh, let's build a couple troop transports, a couple heavy destroyers. Um, you guys have more martial law? Oh. So let's redeploy these guys. You can see here, too, if you haven't noticed, the green bar is the health. That ship's a little damaged. Whatever. We attacked the Sheliac. Planetary assault acknowledged. 
Let's see, we'll have you come down here. If we can get nine of these heavy destroyers together, we might see if we can take on the Husnock with just the... And give the Tamaran some more money. I like money, and when you touch my lips... That's an awesome single. That's not how the Tamarans talk, talk though. Tark? They tark in uh, analogies, I think. What is it? Shamard and Jalark at Badurba. Can't remember what it is. Come on. Time to sh subjugate them. Oh man, the people in Gothos got hit by a plague. Yeah, we stole Sheliak. From the Sheliak. Report Shelia. received from intelligence services. Don't be mad, people. We had to do it. These dick but these dick bags attacked us. All right, Benzite, you need some more security centers, halls of learnings, and power exchanges. There you go. Oops. And this place needs to build stuff. Ah, we'll build the same thing. Some plasma reactors, some data banks, some universities. We're not going to need all that probably, but... And the Sheliak, ooh, man, they can build a uh, bioengineering center for more biotech research. But first of all, we've got to break their will with martial law. And then dilithium, I guess. Sweet. And now that we have that, we can move up here and take this. Because now we have starbase stuff, or uh, a shipyard, so we can expand our reach. Should be able to go up there and just blast the hell out of that, and then if we can, maybe build an outpost or something, blast the hell out of Fringanar. Wait, is that... That's the Husnock vessel, because that's all the... Is he coming to fight us? Let's hope so. We're going to wait right here and see if he wants to do it. Yay, and the vaginas love us. I love it when the vaginas love me. I love loving vaginas. We'll write a song about that. Vagina loving feels so great. As long as it's not loose all over the place. Oh. Yeah! Step off, boy. This is my space. Yes, sir. Torpedoes Do locked. it. Yeah. Okay, we lost one, but now you're a bitch. I killed you. The battle is over. We won. I wish we would have had those when we fought the Borg. Federation breakthrough in superconduction. Superconductive field containers. Superconductive field containers allow dilithium reactors and fuse storage cells to contain a greater reactive mass. These improvements allow a significant increase in the productive capacity of warp cores. Why can't I pronounce that all correctly when I'm being a big spaz as opposed to when I'm doing it normally? I wish I knew. Okay, um, heavy destroyer guy, you're gonna come up here and join them. Heavy destroyers, let's go pick a fight if we can with the Romulans. They need it. Vagina faces, why don't you quit being friends with the Romulans? They don't like you like I like you. I want to be your friend. Uh, quit being disgruntled, Romulans. Martial law? Yep. And some subatomic simulators. They should have enough energy for that. Yep. Kick ass. We're doing pretty good with our tech. Looking good, everybody. I would think the micromanagement of this... I would think the micromanagement part of the game is the boringest to watch. I don't know. If you're watching, let me know. I probably won't remember what I said, but... Turn! Let's see, the Romulans have four systems now. They don't seem to have any orbital batteries. Fuck it, we're gonna just hit them hard, even if we kill everybody. Planetary assault acknowledged. They attacked us. We're going in Planetary hard assault acknowledged. and dry. Let's 
So we'll move all the destroyers up there. Move that one to Mintaka. Try and get that troop transport up there somewhere, so it's useful. Give these guys some more money for all their purses and their dresses. That's how they like it. So what I should do is be like, I bought you a special Starfleet uniform. It's a dress. <laughs> See, we've uh, Starfleet intelligence says a deep cover operative about to commit a class one scientific operation against the Ferengi. Who should we blame? Romulans. Yay, we took Atati. Every major government has admitted our galactic dominance. So we, shall we accept their surrender? Yes. We have won. The Federation's ways are best of peace, even though we had to fight everybody. But we got a lot of little guys to join us peacefully. That helped us win. After so many years of trials and tribulations, the dream has finally become reality. We have many voices, but we have a common goal. We are many worlds, but we stand united in the cause of peace. It is only a matter of time now before our neighbors see the light and join our great federation. We will welcome them as we have always welcomed new members with open arms and open minds. Yay, we did it. We also jo welcome some of our members by subjugating them because we have no choice. And the little light blue line is us. Our ups and downs. I'm pretty sure this big down here is probably when the Borg destroyed a bunch of our ships. <laughs> they destroyed like half our fleet. But we did pretty good. I don't know what these early jumps are. Maybe Vulcan or somebody joining us, but... We're number one. We're number one. We're number one. Space number one. Well, that was fun, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um... Suba? Paw games. And there we go. It was fun doing it. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I, it wasn't my best LP ever because I've never done a game like this before as an LP. There was way more stuff I should have probably explained than I realized. But I had fun. And thanks to, um, I think it was Shiz that recommended I did a strategy game. Um, yeah, and just thanks to anybody that watched this. This is a lot different than the other LPs I did. These are the kind of games I like to play in my free time or strategy games or sandbox type games so especially like this it has a ton of replayability i wish the ai was a little better but you can you can adjust a lot of things you can start at different tech levels you know sometimes i'll start like as the federation at a low tech level and everyone else is higher that makes it really interesting uh there are other ways to do it too you, you can increase the difficulty having random events on like we did makes it more difficult but fun like the borg and the husnock you can turn those off in a game way funner with so um just thanks for watching everybody and the federation forever super paul games out